What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Rob, by the way, and today I'm actually going to do a daily vlog. I don't really know if I want to do this every day. I think I do, but it's going to be kind of hard since we're in quarantine. There's not much we can do. But if you do have ideas for it, please let me know and I will start to do them in the description. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, starting out the vlog today, we are at 1.02k subscribers. I don't know if it shows up on that clock for you guys perfectly, but I appreciate everyone who has supported me, everyone who has subbed to this channel, everyone who's supported all of the stuff that I work for and all this. And so today, we're going to be going to Best Buy. And at Best Buy, we are going to buy a, what's it called, fine, dude. <laughs> Jay, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be going to Best Buy and we're gonna be buying a G Pro wireless. And so I'm very excited for that. It's gonna be super cool. I've never tried a wireless mouse in my life. So we are going to be replacing our Air 58. We're gonna be sending it to our boy Rico very soon once he buys it. And um, yeah, from there, we'll be all wireless. And it'll also be good because I'll be able to edit stuff on my Mac and I'll be able to plug into my adapter and be able to use that wireless mouse instead of a trackpad because trackpad editing and stuff is not fun. Trackpad anything is not fun. No one likes a trackpad. But yes, let us go get in the car. Let's head to Best Buy and let's have some fun today, boys. Holy, it is bright out here. There's the 435 and the Z4. We love race cars out here. All right, we are gonna hop in the X1. I literally just detailed it and everything yesterday and it's so much pollen out here, man. This is gross. By the way, this car is for sale. If anyone wants, DM me on Twitter, Rebel, by the way. Um, as much as I love, I'm tired of it sitting out, man. It's, it's so tough. Mm. Nice, let's get going. What's going on? So we are almost at Best Buy. I'm gonna try and get some pop clips for y'all if y'all can hear them. I'm not sure if you'll be able to, but we're gonna try to. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not easy driving with a camera. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll get them out. Nice little Range Rover running it up. Let's see what we can get for y'all right now. Oh. There's gonna be a video coming soon on uh, MHD tune for the X1 because no one does it. And I found it's pretty damn effective for this car. I love the pops. MHD did a great job with the verbals and everything. But the stage one on the X1 is just kind of rough. I don't know, we'll, we'll talk about it more in the next video. I'm very here for the verbals. The verbals are awesome. This is just still like first gear, just vibing. Are they not letting us in? That's weird. Well, we're gonna see some contactless pickup at Best Buy. Run it. I'll let y'all know when I get it, if I get it. Hopefully we can get it today. Mm, back to the non-sex one. Run it, baby girl. I might try and take some pictures when I get home. We'll see. Yes, we did indeed secure the bag. We got the wireless G Pro. I'm super excited to try it out. So it was really weird. You'll see maybe a clip or two uh, in this video about like the whole Best Buy that I was at. They were doing outside store pickup where you didn't actually go in the store. And so I basically had to wait in a line for of a few people, it wasn't that bad. And then they went in and got the G Pro for me and then brought it out and I just paid for it and just left, it's pretty cool. So yeah, thank you Best Buy for uh, hooking it up with the G Pro wireless. I didn't wanna wait a few days for it to deliver so we just came and picked one up. Uh, we're gonna head home, we're gonna unbox this bad boy and we are going to check it out and see how we like a wireless mouse. So let's do it. We are back in the studio. We are finally home, we're back to the whole setup and everything. We are about to get set up and unbox this and we're gonna check out the size, shape, feel of a wireless mouse, check out the G Pro, see how we like it. And we're gonna leave a final review for you guys and we'll let y'all decide if you wanna get one or if you've seen one or if you use one, let me know. I'd love to hear how many people actually use this mouse. I've heard it's very popular, so. That's why we went and got one today and now, let's get to the unboxing. All right, everybody, we're back in the setup. We are definitely vibing now. Just got home from Best Buy. We have our G Pro wireless right here. Now, I haven't opened this yet. I haven't seen it. Does it just slide out? I already took the paper off of it because I needed to get rid of it because it had coronavirus. Yeah, so let's slide this off. It slides real nice. And that's it. It's just a mouse. That's, that's all there is in here. Wow, okay. We're gonna do a bunch of different stuff. All right, hold up. I feel like this comes out. I was right. Okay, sweet, play to win. Cables, all right, so I think this is the charging cable for it. Cause uh, does it have batteries? Maybe you charge the battery? I know nothing about this mouse. Okay, I think this is a battery and I think, oh no, this is the this is the unit that you plug. Yeah, okay. This is the unit you plug into your, um, 
It comes with a little focus, focus. Whatever, hold on, let's focus. No, don't focus on me. Whatever. It comes with a little USB chip that you can plug into your other computer or whatever, and then that'll connect to the mouse. And I believe, I don't know what this whole thing is for, but it does sit nicely in here as like a little home for the little G Pro. All right, let's hop in here. What is this? What is this? Are these hyperglides? Oh. <gasps> Oh, I think these are hyperglides that you can just install. I think this is just the glides for it, maybe. Oh, no, these are extra side buttons. Oh, that's cool. So if your side buttons break, I guess you can put those in. All right, so from what we've analyzed so far, it comes with charging cable, USB to plug into your computer, your Mac, whatever you want to plug it into uh, so that you can use the mouse. We've got our wireless G Pro here, which I'll do some size comparisons in a second for you guys. And then it comes with four extra side buttons, I believe is what they are, is what I've kind of determined. But if not, we'll find out something else. So right now we're gonna peel off this seal, just like new. Well, Henry, it is new. Um, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So it has a little notch in the front. I don't know if that'll focus. There we go. So it's got a notch in the front for you to plug, which I believe is not a cable for charging. I believe it's just for plugging in the mouse. So you can plug in the mouse and use a charge or a uh, wired mouse, I believe. I could be wrong. Let's open this up. Let's open this bad boy up. I don't think you can use, you definitely can use this as a wired mouse. That's gotta be what that's for, right? Or do you have to charge it like that? Hmm, let's see. They didn't really give us anything with it. So let's try this out. Let's plug this up here. We're gonna untwist tie the twist ties. And we got the one more. No, no, no. All right, this is a pretty long cable. Okay, well, people that love cords and cables and shit, I don't know if y'all exist, but you just got an aneurysm from me undoing that. All right, so we've got the USB end and we've got the end that plugs into the mouse. We're gonna plug this in right now and see how this goes. Okay, this might be how you charge it. I get a sick feeling this doesn't ha does it have? No. Yeah, no, you definitely have to charge it like this, right? I haven't done much research on this mouse, but fits in very smoothly, fits in very nicely, and then you've got it connected to the USB end, and I'm sure that this is the charger, so you just have to do that, and then you've got your USB plug-in so that it links up together. All right, now, they gave us a nice little Logitech sticker. Don't know where we're gonna put it, but we're gonna put it somewhere. Should we add it to our sticker chair? We might add it to our sticker chair, we'll see. All right, now size comparisons. You've got the G Pro wireless right here. According to my hand, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, all right? So in my hand, so if I'm resting on it, to be honest, it feels really nice. It feels really nice like with the grip and everything in hand. Now, if you compare it to something like this, which is my final mouse, Ninja Air 58. We're gonna pull the cord out a little bit of my little cord bungee. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. If we do a side-by-side -side comparison, they're a, mm, final mouse is definitely bigger, but I feel like, I feel like the G Pro might have a bit more of an ergonomic shape. I, I definitely, alliterated that word way too much, but I'm here for it. So if you think about it, this one's a little bit bigger and it's fairly comfortable in hand. Like I love this mouse, right? I'm a big fan of this wired mouse, but I did want to try a wireless mouse so bad and everyone recommended this. I think this one's pretty solid. It also has two side buttons on the right side as well. So as much as people love their side buttons on the left, you can also have two on the right, but it might be for something else. I'm sure they're programmable though. I'm actually not sure what these are for. They don't seem to click. Interesting. I'll have to look into it. Guys, tell me in the comments below how stupid I sound, okay? Because I don't know anything about this mouse. I don't know anything about Logitech. This is the first Logitech product I've owned other than my C920s. Um, so yeah, that's what you get in the box. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little bit of B-roll with the package and everything, and we'll try and get we'll try and get some cool stuff going on for that. Here we go. I found the instructions, I think. I was right. No, I was not. Never mind. I was gonna say they are replacement side buttons, but I don't think they are. Okay, let's see just where I went wrong with this whole description. Okay, so you can do this to turn it on. 
So there's a blue and a red right here. And then when it's blue, it's on, which is pretty cool. So it comes on, but I'm sure it's not fully charged, right? But when you have it red right here, it's off. Blue, it's on. So that's pretty cool. So that's when you know it's on. Um, let's see what else we've got in the manual here. Okay, so that, that cable can go into, oh, I guess if you need an extender? Because this, I bet a whole bunch of Logitech people cringed when they saw me put this into the mouse, but I'm sure you can. I mean, it fit perfectly. But according to this, you're supposed to put it right here, attached to, attached to this little USB port. Now, does it, oh yeah, that's right. Heck you guys who are already commenting. You can also plug it into the mouse. So mm, take that. And we're looking at this, we're running it up. Yeah, and then this plugs into your PC. And then this is just the sensor. What the hell am I reading? Mmm. Oh, so this can be a right or left-handed mouse. I think that's what it means. That's actually cool as fuck. So you don't have extra side buttons. I was wrong there. It's just so that you can change them out if you're a left-handed mouse user, which that's kind of weird, but I'm here for it, Logitech. Very good on you guys. That's pretty cool. What the fuck? Oh, so if you take out this... Logitech bottom piece. Hmm? Whoa, is this how you, no way. Okay, I think I'm the coolest person ever now that I have this mouse. This mouse is awesome. That shit's magnet. Okay, well I guess, hmm. So how does this work? I've never had anything wireless. I guess, hmm. So I'm guessing you plug this in to connect to the little USB port thing and then it goes in the bottom of the mouse. I don't know. I'm gonna get my buddy Vex to explain more about this mouse to me or Capri or someone who uh, uses these mice. And we're gonna figure out some more. But for now, that might complete our review. I want to use it though. I'll record some footage of me using it, okay? I'll record some gameplay and see how I feel with it, see how comfortable it is for me. But yeah, that is gonna complete our unboxing for it. Let's get into some gameplay. Welcome back to the setup. We are now in my physical setup. We are all here together. We have the G Pro Wireless currently wired because we're trying to um, get everything set up for it. So I just went and learned more about it. So it's left and right handed. So you can use, you can install those extra buttons that they gave us to be the left hand use buttons if you would like. And then you can also replace the right hand if they break or anything. So we've currently got it plugged in. We're downloading the G Pro Hub or the, the G Hub so that we can um, set up everything. So right now we're gonna head on over to the download. We're gonna check everything out, see how everything works. We're gonna try and set everything up and make sure that it's all good. Got our connector right here. Now we're gonna allow access. Let's get started, word. I'll be nice for the video. We're gonna unlock the analytics for them. All right, 52% charged. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So it came pretty charged, I guess. And it said it lasts for up to 48 hours of game use when the light is on. If the light is turned off, you can get up to 60 hours, I believe, which is crazy to me. That's so much. Sync lighting zones. I don't know what I just did, but I'm here for it. Whatever, man. All right, cool. So you can change the colors right there. Sensitivity DPI. Okay, we're gonna leave it on 800 because that's what I currently use. Sweet. Now, how do we set this up as wireless? Sweet. Cool platform. Everything's pretty sick. I'm gonna try and get this set up right now wirelessly. Oh, so I guess it comes connected already to this mouse in particular. Now, okay, I'm holding this up so you know it's not connected. And it works, nice. And I believe this mouse weighs 60 grams for those of you that were wondering that didn't look it up already. So 60 gram mouse, which is not bad. I don't know what it is in relation to the final mouse. I'm gonna look that up just so I can give you all an accurate number. Now I'm only comparing to the final mouse just because that's what I've been using. So we've got that connected. That's still communicating. Everything's all good. Now let's head over to Google. Let us pull this over. Now, here we go. How much does the Ninja Air 58 weigh? It says weight, but whatever. 58 grams. So with a cord, this mouse weighs two grams less than the G Pro Wireless. Once again, size comparison. Dude, to be honest, the G Pro and the Air 58, they're about the same size, which I don't mind. This one's a little more like consistent with the rounded sides, but this one's a little more like curvy, you know? And we like a woman with curves. Jay, don't put that in the video. 
Okay, so pretty cool mouse overall. I actually think it's pretty awesome. We're gonna get a little bit of gameplay, probably on Valorant. We might go do some aim training real quick and see how it goes. Let's unplug our Air 58 so that we don't get any issues. I'm not gonna lie, it feels nice knowing that you can go anywhere. Like you can move this mouse anywhere and you'll still get movement. It'll still be all right. Honestly, like I feel like I'll move my arm more. Let's do practice, let's do a shooting test. Okay, listen, this in no way is guaranteed to make you a better player. I'm not good at aim. I'm kind of decent at aim, but don't expect anything. Fair, fair. It makes me feel like I need to lower my sense. I ignore the fact that I literally couldn't shoot the same button. The, the the buttons for the side mouse, the side buttons on the mouse, I, I I don't know that I'm in love with them yet. They're a bit smaller than the ones on the final mouse and I'm not used to that. But you know what? I'm here for it. We're here to learn a new mouse. We're here to find something new to try out. I'm loving it. I think it's a very good mouse. It's very solid. It feels nice being able to move around the whole screen. And you can move around your whole desk and there's no issues. You don't have a wire holding you down, you know? Honestly, I recommend wireless to a lot of people now. I think it's pretty cool. I was always skeptical about it. I felt like the, there would be too much of a delay, too much of an issue, but it feels really nice, you know? Like, it feels very clean how it all works. Hi. All right, yeah. I mean, all in all, this mouse feels very nice. It's very cool. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to because I'm not used to a mouse like this. However, I do like it. Guys, listen, once again, I am not good at video games. This in no way will make you 100% better. Now, granted, it could make you better, but it's gonna take some getting used to when you get a new mouse, especially a wireless one when you've never used wireless. But I do think I will like it. I think I will like it a lot more. All right. Well, all in all, great mouse. I do enjoy it. I think it's going to be very awesome to get used to this mouse and get better with it. But yeah, I mean, it's light. It feels very ergonomic. It feels very nice in your hand. Um, overall, a good mouse. I, I think it's very awesome. I definitely recommend. I think it's super cool to have a wireless mouse for the first time ever. Um, it's going to be great for editing on my laptop as well when I'm just at a counter and I have like a little mouse pad. I don't want a trackpad, but I like using my Mac for a lot of things. But yeah, definitely check them out. Logitech, this is not in any way a sponsored video, but I think this mouse is pretty cool. I just wanted to do a daily vlog today, which I've never really done. Never really done a big normal vlog in Atlanta. I might start doing vlogs in Atlanta because I feel like there might be some stuff I could get going on. I could go visit my Atlanta phase friends. I think we might do that. If you have any ideas for me to do while I'm in Atlanta, if you want to say anything with the car, whatever, let me know in the comments down below and I will make sure to get that done for you. Jay, I appreciate you editing this, my man. Throw yourself an at in the video or something because I want your I want your channel to get some follows and stuff and I want you to get some follows on Twitter because you're a super awesome editor. Um, yeah, overall, great mouse. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't roast me too hard about my skills at gaming because my aim is not very good anyway. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, comment what you want to see. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.